Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to use a French knitter. These are also known as a knitting spool or a knitting Nancy, and you can find them at your craft store. And what it essentially is, is a tube with some pegs at the top. Mine happens to be wood, and I have four pegs. Sometimes they have six pegs. And you can also find in the loom area of your craft store, sometimes they have plastic ones and they have a very large opening, making it um, a great tool for kids to use as well. So we're going to get started. To use a French knitter, you're going to need your French knitter. And a lot of times they come with a little stick you can use. Mine came with a plastic stick. I like to use a double pointed needle. This is a US 6 bamboo double pointed need knitting needle. And you also need a pair of scissors. And to begin, we're going to take our yarn. This is some worsted weight acrylic that I'm using. You don't want to use yarn that's too heavy or bulky uh, because you need it to send it through this hole here. Now, if you have a large opening, you could use something heavier. We're just going to send it through the center of our knitting spool. And it's going to come out the bottom. We're just going to pull it. This is about four or five inches or so. And then you're going to hold your knitting spool like this. I like to just kind of hold the bottom. So to begin, we're going to wrap the yarn around the first peg in a clockwise direction. And I'm doing this very loosely. You don't want it to be too tight because you need to be able to lift the stitches. Okay, so we're just going to kind of push everything down. And then we're going to wrap the yarn around the outside of the pegs. And then we're going to do lift of the first. See so how you have two pieces of uh, yarn loop here. You're going to lift this first loop that's underneath up and over that first peg. Go to the next peg, take that yarn, and lift it up and over, just like that. Just going to keep doing this all the way around. And go, whoops, my yarn split a little, that's okay. And lift it There we go. Up and over, just like that. And we're just gonna keep doing this, like I said, all the way around. So I've been working lots more rounds on the French knitter. And I just wanted to show you that an I cord is emerging from the bottom. So as you work, you'll give it a tug and this wonderful eye cord will start to come out of the bottom. It looks braided. So I just want to show you how to bind off or in other words, get this off of your, your spool. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either cut the yarn and use a needle and just go into all these loops and kind of sew it together. Or what I like to do is simply take the loop off of a peg and move it over to the next peg. And then take the loop that's off the bottom of that peg that we just moved the loop over to and lift it up and come up and over that peg. Then take the loop that's remaining and lift it up and put it on the next peg just like that. And then lift that loop up and over that peg. And then take that loop Again, giving this a tug here and there will help you see everything. So 
Sometimes at the end it gets a little bit bunchy, but lift that loop up and over and onto the peg that's next to it. So you'll be left with two loops on your peg. And then you can take that last bottom loop that will remain and lift it up and over just like that. So you give everything again a nice tug. So it'll look kind of like that. Then you can take your scissors and just cut the yarn. And then what you'll do is I like to get the stick in there and just kind of loosen that loop up, get it onto your stick like that and pull this through. Then you can just send this piece of yarn, you can use your stick to help you, but send that piece of yarn, that tail, through that last remaining loop, just like that, and pull it nice and tight to finish. So then you're left with an I-cord, and that is how you use a French knitter. You can make yours as long as you like. You can use these for easy projects. You can make a few, um, make some flowers, or you can use them as very nice, thick and sturdy ties for like a jacket, like a hooded jacket or something like that. So that's how you use a French knitter. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.